We are here with another one. My damn shoulders are killing me because playing on this shit. But I just got my damn account back on Call of Duty, so I'm definitely thinking about playing some more. I'm not really sure. Not really sure on how I'm gonna do that, but uh. Yeah. Mm. So, this is nine scary videos that would ruin your sleep. This is somebody new. This is my boy right here. Sir Spooks. Definitely go check him out. And, uh, yeah, make sure to hit the like button. Be sure to hit the comments, what you want to say. And be sure to hit that subscribe button. Let's get it. Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks and today we'll take a look at 9 scary videos. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more scary content. Alright, with that said, let's begin. This first video comes to us from a TikTok account run by a woman named Ali, who decided to pull out her phone and record a video just for something to do to pass the time while she and her friend were stuck in their car, as they had recently broken down while in the middle of the Appalachian Mountains. Throughout some portions of the video, we see Al- One thing I know, the Appalachian Mountains is not something- Oh shit. Is not something that I would want to be stuck anywhere, just because it, it's a fucking travel getting back. Or hell, hell, might- Hell, even just, hell, Mike getting lost, shit. Ali and her friend dancing and singing a- Hey, but they is bad, though. ...long to some music in the car, before Ali eventually decides to step outside of the vehicle, which proves to be a gigantic mistake, as you'll see in just a couple of seconds here. Hey. 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 Hey.
somewhat just turn away type shit. Unlock it for me. Something weird has happened with this car. What's going on? <sighs> After only a couple of seconds walking around the car outside, a mysterious deep man's voice can be heard shouting hey from somewhere nearby. But they don't seem to be too frightened by this and continue to pace around outside for a few beats before eventually trying to get back into the car, but the alarm is now going off. Eventually though, the two girls manage to get back inside the vehicle and it's here in which they find themselves at the center of yet another scare that they can't quite explain. Watch this. Something weird has happened with this car. What's going on? <sighs> Waiting for connection. Bluetooth connection uh, success. What was that? Ashley. I do not like this. Um, oh my god. Let's get out of here. Go. Does it run? Is it working? Yes. It is. It's working. Thank god. A mysterious series of knocking noises can be heard on the car's exterior, even though nobody can be seen outside whatsoever. Thankfully, the two girls manage to drive off into the night and make it out of the area perfectly safe, but it makes you think, what could have possibly happened to them had they not managed to start their car? According to this- I have no fucking clue, but that was, I don't know. TikTok user, if you guys ever find yourself stuck in the Appalachian Mountains, here are some tips for staying safe. First, if you hear somebody shouting your name, you should ignore it at all costs. Also, if you feel like you're being stalked or chased, do not run whatsoever. Imagine you're just trying to enjoy a nice peaceful night while on a cruise ship only for the night to be interrupted by the arrival of a seemingly otherworldly guest that was definitely not invited. That seems to be what happened to the people on this cruise as shown by a reddit user known as Tasty Beverage, who posted the following piece of footage to the UFO subreddit just a couple of weeks ago. He says the footage is not his but rather from New Fork. The upload also writes that the video from the New Fork website has audio of the witness's reactions, but it somehow got stripped when he uploaded the video here. I mean, if they are on a ship, that is kind of weird to see. No bullshit, I'll be like, okay, what, what the fuck is that? Because why would a drone be over there? Like, unless somebody on a ship has one and they're messing with it or something like that. I don't know. Witnesses can be heard saying more or less that they got it, referring to them being able to capture the strange UFO type object on camera. A second person can be heard getting excited when it doubles back. So what do you guys think about this strange video? Do you think that this footage truly shows authentic- I think it's possibly a balloon. I don't know what I see. ...videographic evidence of the existence of UFOs, or is the video just not good enough to convince you? Be sure to let me know your thoughts and theories in the comments below.
man, what the fuck is with the deep, intense ass music? Like with the transition, bro. This bone chilling video was posted to the haunted subreddit by a user known as The Clownin, a subreddit that is dedicated to hosting paranormal news, strange occurrences, sightings, and other phenomena related to haunted places or ghostly experiences. The footage in question here was filmed on a home security camera in the middle of the day, and for the first couple of seconds, seems to be just a random, unexciting video of nothing going on inside of a typical home. However, it doesn't take long for this seemingly innocent video to be flipped on its head. Take a look at the door in particular right about here and see if you notice anything unusual. Okay. The caption said coming from a trusted family member, so like what did they break in her home or like what was they what happened? Out of nowhere, a mysterious shadow person can be. So, what, 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 what was the caption about? Trusting a family member, trusted a trusted family member. What, what, what was that about? Hold on, no. Kind of scary that this is coming from a trusted member of my family. What does that mean? Like, oh, well, like I believe it? Or, I don't know. And figure out this strange mystery before it gets the better of them. Bro, like, what's with the transitions, bro? This is, like, possibly something people will watch during the day, like... They couldn't even watch this. Like, you can go to sleep to Nuke Tops 5. You can go to sleep to Chills. You can go to sleep to Top 15, Mr. Nightmare, Frost Nightmare, Slapped Ham. Like, what What the fuck is with this loud-ass obnoxious transition over, bro? Like, that shit is not it. Over on the Paranormal subreddit, a user writes about his experience with something ghostly recently, as well as an accompanying video that is guaranteed to make the hairs on your neck stand up. Okay, so, bro, this hallway looks familiar, bro. Like, I think I lived in this house. What the fuck? Y'all, what the fuck going on right here? It's doing it again. That switch down there is on. You can see it past my shaking. This one is on, okay? It's mom. See what I mean? It's bro, you have an electrical problem, bro. Just call the electrician, bro. Like, how do you know it's a ghost? You can hear it. You Mom, mom, mom. Nope. Nope. For additional backstory, the uploader's brother found himself alone at their mom's house, Ooh. presumably checking on their dog Oscar while their mom and stepdad were at work. The hallway light began flickering on and off, prompting the brother to start recording in hopes of capturing the strange phenomenon. Upon reviewing the footage multiple times, the uploader is left perplexed, believing that there might be something happening beyond their understanding. Despite living in the house for over two years, the uploader admits to sensing strange vibes, but had never personally witnessed such occurrences. The hallway light is controlled by two switches, one near the brother and another at the end of the hallway. In the video, viewers can see the light toggling on and off, with the switch visibly moving on two occasions. The oh. first instance shows the switch moving ha- So that's what he was saying, he was saying the switch is shaking. I was like, what, what the fuck is shaking? But okay. Halfway down, an occurrence deemed highly unusual by the uploader. The second instance is more pronounced, with the switch slamming down, prompting the brother to swiftly vacate the area. The uploader is seeking the opinions and thoughts of others on the video, curious about their interpretations, especially since their mother still resides in the house and recounts similar eerie experiences. The video is quite weird and creepy indeed, and it's definitely something I would not want to experience in my house. In fact, if this were to happen to most people, 
I think it would be their sign to start looking for a new home to move into the very next day. And for good reason. Hopefully, if this place does turn out to be haunted by something, that the uploader will be able to get a new place to live, where he doesn't have to worry about being visited by this strange arm? presence. A Reddit user known as Maximus Killer posted a strange and unsettling video to the Ghost subreddit recently that will make you afraid to go to sleep tonight with the lights off. The footage in question was filmed outside via a home security camera that was set up by the homeowner. And initially, the video appears to be mundane and uninteresting. But that changes rather quickly when this happens out of nowhere. Suddenly, a transparent figure seems to run across the screen before vanishing into thin air much to the confusion and terror of the uploader me, when he reviewed I don't know if it's just me but Nuke's top 5 is better more scarier like he talking about this is something this is something that's gonna make you not want to sleep like what are you talking about bro somebody ran past it in the snow I mean a lot of people see more tragic horrific, horrific shit through their days than that I think ghosts running through the snow is probably like one of the most peaceful things they probably saw. Motherfuckers probably felt like they were at Hogwarts. Like, I don't know, bro. It's just... Let me see something. It's... It's one, two, three, The first one, only one that was kind of like, oh, shit, is when he beat on the door. But... Uh, let me... Let, let's keep watching. With the footage at a later date. The video is still quite new, so it shouldn't come as a big surprise that the mystery has not been solved yet, but we can only hope that it's a matter of time. If the video does turn out to be real and this is a And it's like, it irritates me and I'm like, I'm trying so hard not to click off the video because he's trying to like, make the video scary by like, enhancing the fucking music and slowing the video down and just intensifying the like, the music like, bro. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, this has kind of been like a mid one. Legitimate ghost that appears in the footage. Then it seems as if this is videographic proof that even paranormal entities need to get their cardio in. And then he ends it off with a fucking joke like that. Even ghosts needs to get their cardio in. Like, bro, what? Let's move on. Sleepovers are fun gatherings where people, often children or teenagers, stay overnight at someone else's house. Has my man never been to a fucking sleepover as a child? Like, who describes a sleepover like that, bro? Like, whether you're being professional or not, who, who describes a fucking sleepover like that? I'm so tempted to get off this shit and play Call of Duty. Okay, um... Reducto. They're a way for friends to spend extended time together, typically involving... Bro, who, how, how did he get these... Who, who kids are these that... They, how did he get this footage of them two playing video games like this, bro? Where are they even at, bro? This... Oh my god. I don't know. I don't like this guy. I think, I think it's just me. <laughs> lots of fun activities but you most certainly wouldn't expect to come across something paranormal when you're at a friend's house for a sleepover would you well this video by tiktok user bv1150 shows that actually you might want to be on the lookout for that in the video the upload can be heard getting audibly frightened by something at which point he does his best to wake up his sleeping friend although it was difficult to do so eventually the uploader gets his friend out of bed and it's here in which some truly bizarre noises can be heard. Have a listen. Is that the old thing off? Get up. Get up. Get up. Yo, listen. 
I apologize. To, I apologize to every viewer out there. This has been the most midest one. The uploader gets up to check his closet, probably expecting the source of the noise to be coming from there because that's where it sounded the closest, but he discovers that there is nobody inside. A second video that was posted shows the uploader wandering around the house just a little bit more, perhaps not wanting to give up his investigation, wanting instead to put an end to the terrors he has been facing. In the footage here, the uploader can be seen slowly opening a door in his house and peering in. Watch this. Hey guys, I think this might be the last time. Yeah, look, look here man. First of all, bro is nasty as fuck for having a camera pointed at his feet for this damn long. Um, and two, um, we better see something scary. I, 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 I better be a, I better be a humanoid or, or something. Or uh, like fuck, I don't know. Fucking way. <laughs> oh shit. What the fuck is this? What the fuck? Replay. Let's go back. Lingering in the darkness, a terrifying figure can be seen looming in the room if you turn the brightness up. It takes the uploader a couple of seconds to notice this, but when he does, he closes the door instantly and locks it before the video ends abruptly, leaving us all to wonder what happened next. I don't care what Who was this strange right, and okay. creepy visitor that was- Alright, I'll keep it real. <laughs> I'll keep it real, that- whoosh. I didn't expect shadow figure. I didn't I didn't expect that. I did not expect that. Okay. Woo, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Um Woo shit. Get in the room. Did it mean the uploader and his friend any harm? Thankfully, it seems as if the uploader is okay, but I think it's safe to say that this incident ruined sleepovers for him and his friend forever. Okay. That, that was a good one. That was a good one. In case you guys weren't on the internet at all these past few- That's beautiful. I like this. What is this, New York City? Like Manhattan area or something like this? It's New York City. It looks like this is dope. This is cool. Yeah, New York City is a must. Like, like to travel. Nah, no. It'd be the food, the food and the weed. Few days, a solar eclipse occurred on April eighth, twenty twenty-four, that was visible across a band covering parts of North America, from Mexico to. Bro, there has been many solar eclipses, lunar eclipses, there's been uh, super moons, there's been solar moons, there has been, um, there's been times where they said uh, something in space was going to cut out and yeah, look, look, it, 
look, it, the, the shit is fake. If there's anything that I do not believe in is anything that they know about anything with space. Because the it, it time works completely different in space. Only movie that got that fucking depiction right is Interstellar with Matthew McConaughey. I think that's who I think that's who that played that. But Interstellar because yes, time works so much differently in space. So like I don't think anybody has had the actual proof to go up there and anywho, let's move on. Canada and crossing the United States. A solar eclipse happens when the moon obscures the sun by passing between Bro, how can you explain a solar eclipse, bro? We watched Twilight, my nigga. Like, get off that dumb shit, bro. We we know what it is. Earth and the sun. When the apparent diameter of the moon is greater than that of the sun, total solar eclipse takes place, obstructing all direct sunlight. Like Only a small portion of the Earth's surface experiences totality, with the partially eclipsed sun visible over a wider area. The apparent diameter of the moon was 5.5% greater than the mean, just 4 miles north of the Mexican town of Nazas, Durango. The eclipse's longest period of totality lasted 4 minutes and 28.13 seconds, eclipse. with a magnitude of 1. What they did was, because we live in an AI-generated system, bro, what they did was just close the circle on our lightness right now. Like, I don't know, I'm fucked up. 0566. However, the solar eclipse that day wasn't the only interesting thing happening in the sky that day as it turns out. As evidenced by this strange TikTok video posted by a user known as the Aaron Don Donst X. In the video, we see the uploader trying to point his camera toward the sky, doing his best to capture the breathtaking solar eclipse occurring. However, in doing so, the man ended up filming something much more unexpected and shocking. Take a look. Bruh. Look, there's something flying through the air. What the was that? What the was that? Yo, what the Aliens! Aliens! Yo! Out of nowhere, something strongly resembling a UFO can be seen flying rapidly in the clouds for about one second before it disappears within the clouds, while stunned people on the ground can be heard saying, what is that? Even if this doesn't turn out to be a UFO, there's no doubt in my mind that this video is real, especially judging by the chorus of reactions from the street. Tons of people can be heard talking about the object just a few seconds after it flies by in the sky which would certainly be hard to fake in a video like this one. But what do you guys think was going on here? Do you think it's possible that a UFO was flying around at the exact same time? Bro, that was Homelander, bro. What is y'all talking about? I'm as the solar eclipse. If you think so, do you think the alien life forms did this on purpose? I'm curious as always to hear your thoughts. Yeah, number two. This next video comes to us from a man named Rusty Tucker who uploaded the chilling footage to his YouTube channel on July 4th, 2016. After watching the video, you will definitely never want to step foot in a cemetery again. Rusty visited the Evergreen Cemetery in Judsonia, Arkansas to investigate the legend of the ghost mother. In the early 1900s, a young mother had a baby who disappeared near the cemetery. She searched the cemetery for several days and nights and was found dead in its midst. She was buried where she was discovered, and it's rumored that her ghost still wanders the cemetery in search of her baby. Rusty visited the night before he filmed and heard some eerie sounds of crying and moaning. He was too scared to leave the truck, so he returned later with his drone to film from the air. This is what he found. Did you see it? If you look carefully, 
you should be able to make out what appears to be some kind of a ghostly apparition crouching down beside this tombstone. Man, that's why I never understood why people go to the graveyard and just go try to go find shit, bro. Take your ass home! Staring at the camera ominously before it eventually decides to stand up and move. Oh, shit. Nah. See, motherfuckers be at the graveyard just doing weird shit. Move away from the camera's line of sight. Amazingly, Rusty has the bravery to run after the ghost to see if he can chase it, but it's no longer anywhere to be seen. At the end of the video, Rusty explains that he had plans to go back to the cemetery again to investigate this situation a little bit more down the road. However, no such video was ever published on his channel, and seeing as how this video is 8 years old at this point, I think it's safe to assume that he won't be making that return visit after all. But who knows, maybe it's for the best. Number one, about ready. Aww. All right, well, yeah, we're going to cut it right here because this guy has already been featured on here, Mr. Drinking on the Job. We're going to comment off right there, but hit the like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you want to see me react to next. Um, Anybody who hop over to Twitch, Wiz Reacts TTV, we're going to go crazy on some Warzone because, yeah, I got my account back. So, peace until the next one.